Hi everyone and welcome to a more laid back version of my videos. Uh, today I'm going to help out a fellow community member and instead of doing a lot of uh, screenshots and writing I might as well make a, a video instead for him. So question was about the simple list widget in the portal. He wants to create a widget where he can actually, if we scroll down, he mentioned SLA in the start, but it was actually knowledge documents or articles. And he wants to see the ones that soon is about to expire. So in this video, I'm going to go through the simple list widget and a couple of things you can do with it and how you set it like he wants to only show the documents that is valid to will expire in, let's say, 30 days, for example. So what I have done just in the beginning is I just created a, a blank page. So let's go to this one and we'll just pull in the, the simple list. And of course, without doing any settings, nothing will show in here, as you can see. So basically we click on the, on the pencil and do the edit. And let's wait for options to pop up. Come on. Where are my options? What is happening with me? Let's reload it and see. Simple list. With the pencil, it's loading. And here we go. So, we know it's the knowledge table. And I just do like this and save it so you can actually see that it will pop up. And the option, of course, you can reach them through the pencil here. Or when you have the widget visible on your page, you can press Ctrl and right click. And you have instance options as well to actually see the, the same stuff. So. What we want to do is add a filter, and in this case, it's actually an easy one, uh, encoded query. So let's let's head into our knowledge list. Oops, kvknowledge.list. And I'll just take a look. We have the value two field, and I don't think I'll get any hits, but let's try and see. Value two is relative and uh, let's see relative from now on or before days 30 days from now was that really uh, that was a small input field let's hit run yeah let's hit this go yeah, and we can see we don't have any options or results at all. So let's see if we can just I'll drag that one to the favorites and let's edit the value field on anyone. Let's hit this one. I have version as you can see, and oh, I need to check out and do stuff. Let's let's change that one. If you're having versioning in your North Space, you can actually define certain fields that you can edit without having to change the version and that's the minor edits so we'll check that one and out of the box the value 2 field is actually there so let's scroll up and hit save and i forgot to zoom i guess so let me zoom in a bit let's see 125 we went into knowledge and we went down to properties and then when you scroll down a lot you find knowledge versioning article version properties we check this one enable minor edits and then we made sure that value 2 was in this uh, field if you want to have more you just add a comma and perhaps uh, if you want them to be able to change knowledge space, we don't probably want that, but this is how you add the different fields. Let's go to the top, hit save, 
And let's go back to our, whoops, there wasn't anything there. Let's hit the correct version, this one. And now we can change the value to, and I'll put that as a date of, I'll write it instead, 2018, 10, 28. So this one should actually pop up now when I click on my filter. Yeah, it works. So we know that this probably is an okay query. I'll right click, copy query. Then I'll go to the widget. I'll control right click, instance options. And then I'll just put in the filter. And then I'll go down and hit save. And now I should have only one. And here we go. If you don't want to have the version or you want to have error fields, you can just go into instance options. And you have display field. I perhaps would like to have the number. You have display number now when you have versioning. So you actually see the version number as well. But I don't want the number. But I also would like to have the author and I would like to have the, what it's called, short description. For example, and let's scroll down and hit save. And now hopefully you can see there is a little bit more information as well. If I click on it, I haven't defined that one. Let's go into instance options or a simple list. Let's see, is it the list page? I'm not sure. Let's hit form. I think that, well, this kind of depends on where you would like to go because if we would like to open it in the article, I guess that's the, what is called, KB article view. Bad memory, I'll save that one. updated my memory serves me wrong come on instance options what's the page list page what was it for let's hit form just for fun link to this page list page hold on Let's see. It's a lot of testing, it's nice. And I'll click on it and I get to the KB article view. And as you can see, it went kind of haywire because it tried to do something else. Let's go back. But now I know that it's this one I'll remove that one let's just put this in the form because if you want to edit it I guess it's the form view you like save and I click on that one and here you can see so now I can actually change the value to field just like in in the normal one so just to go back, it was actually the option called uh, where you are, link to this page. Which page should you go to if I click on the, the number in this case? Uh, I chose form, so it will look the same as it done in the background UI. So that's about it. Thank you for today and I'll post that YouTube into the answer of the post.